Hello and welcome to your VR devlog number three. My name is Ryan. I'm going to be taking you through our new environment. Kind of cool what we have here. And uh, we don't have a huge amount of uh, gameplay mechanic stuff uh, done this week because we have been focusing solely and primarily on performance. The goal from the get go with your has been to create a lush, beautiful forest environment. We're not all the way there, but we've got, uh, I think we've got about 3,000 trees in about a 400 meter by 400 meter area. So that's pretty substantial amount of trees. And what we wanted to do is we wanted to do that and uh, get better looking water, that's for sure, but that'll come later. What we wanted to do is we wanted to do that and maintain 90 frames per second, well, 70 to 90 frames per second on the recommended hardware, which is the GTX 1070, which is what I'm running right now. And that is very, very, very difficult in VR. And maybe if someone told us how many of these things would be so hard in VR, we wouldn't have done the open world game, but we're in it to win it now. And we've got our frame rate up to about 85 on a GTX 1070. So that is pretty cool. And we had to do some nifty things to get there. We had to Grab a bunch of uh, a bunch of a bunch of trees and customize all of their materials and optimize the crap out of them. You can kind of see some of the uh, some of the effects of that optimization that we're going to have to fix up. And we also had to get off of the standard branch of Unreal Four and get on the Nvidia branch, which is the VR Works branch. This uh, gave a massive performance boost for the Nvidia card. And uh, we're going to be definitely getting the AMD SDKs into the engine as soon as we can. But with the uh, NVIDIA branch of an Unreal 4, it was all done for us. So we had to port the whole project over to this new branch of the engine. But outside of that, we didn't have to integrate any of the SDKs ourselves. It was all set up and done by the folks over at NVIDIA. And right off the bat, um, on a 970, I think we saw an increase of 30 to 40% frame rate. On the 1070 here, which the NVIDIA branch and the new drivers are really tuned to, uh, I think it went from 55, 60 frames per second up to 90, 95 before we really started any big optimization work. So definitely worth it. We're really happy with what we have. We've got easily one of the densest forest scenes in VR that I've, I've seen. And this, I mean, this forest just goes on and on. Let's turn around here. I'm right at my chaperone distance. So let's go over here um, and uh, where do I go? Where's a good spot? There we go. So we go, uh, I mean, this, like I said, this just goes on and on and on and a uh, little bit of movement issues there. And it goes on, it goes on the other side. We've got some ruins that you can kind of see over there. Um, and we've got a village or at least the beginnings of a village. We're still working with the buildings because they are, uh, just placeholder and they're not optimized very well at all. So performance does take a little bit of a hit when, we, uh, when we're around our buildings. And let's see, you can't really see it now, but this is one of the other cool optimization things. We've got some temporal AA um, dithering going on with all of our transparent materials now. And uh, it was a, just a gigantic hit to performance. Anytime, that, anytime you have overlapping layers of transparency in VR. It just destroys your frame rate. And so we've done some little tricks in there that are definitely visible on a monitor when you're looking at that at a, on a 1440p or a 4K monitor. But in the, uh, in, the, in the headset, the dithering is not noticeable whatsoever. It just looks like smoke coming out of a chimney. So super cool. Got a pretty solid performance boost out of that. Uh, we can see we've got the Beginnings of our, our little blacksmith setup. We've got some yucky clipping going on. We'll have to raise those up. But you can see all the tools that we have set up for our crafting system. We've got a, the beginnings of our, our forge in here. And uh, let me just get away from these chaperones. So we've got the beginnings of our forge. We've got our bellows. And I don't think this is set up for the VR yet. No, it's still got the keyboard shortcuts on it. So we'll work that. Uh, we've got uh, a heat system in the works for... Uh, forging and for taking raw ore and hammering it into uh, into nice shapes. Got your water to quench your steel. I don't think I can reach in there and do anything. Like I said, this forest just goes on and on and on and on. Um, 
We got some houses. And we got our little cart. Uh, makeshift smelter over there. So taking your ore from the hill and refining it. And let's see, I think we have a, a house that we can hang out in. Got our bed up there and our, our this is our guest bed over here. So, you know, you have company over after a rough night. You can just chill out on the guest bed. Um, but yeah, just all placeholder stuff, of course. This is all going to be redone uh, with a, a completely custom architectural style that we're getting a lot of community feedback on and uh, people are voting on. So I think we're pretty close to having uh, a solid design for houses. And all of this will just get thrown out and uh, replaced, but it's good to have in here just for scale. And we have, uh, we have the dithering on the windows as well. You can't really see it in the headset. And I've never actually got up close to these windows to see how the dithering looks in the headset. And it's, it's totally solid. Like you can't, unless I move really fast, then I can kind of see it kicking in. But just looking at it slowly, it's pretty solid. It kind of just looks like a dirty window. On the monitor, it might be, uh, might be a little bit more noticeable when you're watching this on a, on a monitor. But in the headset, it is brilliant. So that's what we got over there. Let's just teleport way over there. And got some lovely trees. And we've got our patented, well, not patented, but that sounds cool. We've got our VR Signomore system in place. And that's reducing the FOV as I walk around, which I can't notice at all in the headset, but I'm sure on the monitor it's pretty noticeable. So we've got a cool waterfall going on over here. And uh, we're definitely going to be cleaning cleaning things up up there, but it's just placeholder for now, just to give us something pretty to look at. Um, maybe putting in some mist and some foam around the base. But like I said, any time that we have uh, layers of transparency, particularly particles, uh, performance just takes a big nosedive. So we figured 970 users would probably appreciate a boost of 15 to 20 frames a second, as opposed to having a bunch of mist and other VFX at the bottom of this uh, waterfall. But anyways, quick sneak peek at the environment. Um, right now, that's about all that we can access. But eventually, we're going to have everything everything accessible in the whole map. There's going to be places to explore, um, all sorts of fun, all sorts of fun, fun uh, places to find and treasures and anything else. Anyways, really excited and uh, can't wait to show you guys the next update. As always, leave comments in the comment section. Head over to facebook.com slash your VR. Hit us up on Twitter at your underscore VR or head over to www.playyour.com and uh, get involved. Give us some feedback. All right, adios.